May the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. Our text is from the Gospel of Mark, the 10th chapter, beginning with the 13th verse, where we are told they were bringing children to Jesus that he might touch them, and the disciples rebuked them. This is the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, amen. I was one of those fathers, one of those parents who brought their children to Rabbi Yeshua that day. It's not the first time that I had brought my son to a man of God. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Ezra Barnavi, Ezra, son of Navi. And my little boy's name is Tobias, little Toby. The first time I brought Toby to a man of God was on his eighth day so that he could be named and circumcised. As you know, circumcision was handed down to us from our ancestor Abraham. It was God's way of marking a male child to be a part of his people. The mark of circumcision was the sign of the covenant. The covenant where God says to us, I will be your God and you will be my people. It was a great day of celebration. The day little Toby was circumcised. The family gathered together to praise and worship God for his goodness to all of us by calling us to be his children. But the day that I brought little Toby to see Rabbi Yeshua was not a day of celebration. You see, my little boy, not even two years old, was sick. For days, he had had a fever. We couldn't get him to eat. I did not want him to die. But then I heard that Rabbi Yeshua was in our town. And I'd heard about Rabbi Yeshua. I had heard that his touch could heal. He put his hands upon the eyes of a blind, of, of a blind man, and the man could see. He, he put his fingers into the ears of a deaf man and touched the man's tongue, and the man could hear and speak. He even touched a man afflicted with leprosy, and that man was cleansed. His touch could heal. I had even heard that there were people who would touch Jesus or even touch the hem of his garment, and they would be healed. So I brought my little Toby, cradled in my arms, to Rabbi Yeshua, in the hopes that he would touch my son and heal him of this sickness. When I and the other parents and our children arrived, However, there were men who told us to leave. I came to understand that these were Jesus' followers. I don't know what it was about us or our children that provoked such a response in them, but they told us to leave. Maybe they thought Jesus was too important or too busy to waste his time on children. The other parents began to argue with the disciples, but I, I couldn't say a word. 
All I saw was my last hope vanishing before my eyes. But then I heard Rabbi Yeshua, his voice of authority cutting through all of the commotion. And I will never forget his words. Let the little ones come to me. Do not hinder them. For of such of these is the kingdom of God. At Jesus' words, everyone was silent. And then one by one, Parents brought their children to Rabbi Yeshua and he would take each one in his arms and he would speak words of blessing. And then he looked at me, holding my son. He beckoned me forward. And I took this frail little boy of mine and placed him into the arms of Yeshua. He put his hand gently on my son's fevered forehead. And he spoke a blessing. My son's eyes fluttered open. And as he looked into the face of Yeshua, he broke into a smile and he started to giggle. Music to my ears. And Yeshua looks at my son with love and he starts to laugh too. And the two of them are laughing and smiling at each other. I could do nothing but fall to the ground with tears of joy streaming down my face. And after he had given my son one final hug, he handed little Toby over to me. And I squeezed him close to me, closer than I could ever imagine I could, the touch of Rabbi Yeshua had given my son new life. I was still speechless. All I could do was mouth the words, thank you. And Jesus, in his soft, gentle voice, said, go in peace. Cradling my son in my arms, I carried him home with my heart full of joy. As the days went on, I thought about what Jesus, what Yeshua had said to his disciples. That the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. As I pondered those words, I asked myself, what is it then about children that makes them the ones who are able to receive the kingdom of God? The first thing I realized is that it's not because children are pure and innocent and sinless. Oh, when they come into this world, they look so angelic and so pure, but as any of you who have had children or grandchildren or nieces or nephews know, it doesn't take too long for children to reveal their true nature, the nature that all of us have, this nature that is selfish, this nature that is self-centered. We don't have to teach children to argue over toys with one another. They know how to do that. 
because all of us come into this world with, with, with a condition that, that separates us from the Lord God and causes us to think only of ourselves. So it's certainly not because of purity and innocence that children are the ones who are able to receive the kingdom of God. What I came to, to understand was that it's because children are helpless. They rely on others to do everything for them, especially when they are very young. They cannot feed or clothe themselves. Parents and siblings and aunts and uncles and friends, all of those people help that child because when we come into this world, we are powerless. When it comes to the kingdom of God, we also are powerless. Because of our condition that separates us from the Lord God, we, we cannot come to Him. We can't overcome that condition. We're powerless. Just like I was powerless to, to heal my son, so all of us were powerless to heal our sin. The only thing that healed my son was the touch of Yeshua. The only thing that heals our sin is the touch of Jesus, Yeshua. Many of us receive that touch in baptism. When Yeshua makes us a part of his family, a child of our Father in heaven. He gives faith. He removes sin. He heals us with the touch of the waters of baptism. Yeshua also heals us as He touches our tongues with His body and His blood in the supper that He gave us. We come to Him because we are helpless and powerless. And he welcomes us to his table where his touch of grace and love forgives our sins and renews our faith. All of us need Yeshua to place his hand upon us and to bless us. His hand upon my son and his blessing gave new life to my son and healed him of his sickness. The touch, the touch of Yeshua upon you gives you new life. It heals you of your sin and makes you a child of God. Amen. And may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen.